Hi, this is Dr. Dan Perster here. Another one of my, my uh, quick health videos. Fasting is amazing. When I talk about my, my uh, process of fasting, it means you can drink all the water you want during that time. Um, and should, because uh, you'll, uh, you'll get really thirsty while you're fasting. I do 72 hour fasts on a somewhat regular basis. I think they're really good for you. It, it tends to kill off stem cells that are pre-malignant or uh, associated with malignancies. They need lots of glucose. And so for you to fast 72 hours, drink lots of water, it's really good to help reduce your risk for cancer. Also, it teaches you humility. I grow closer to my higher power. I pray a lot for strength while I'm fasting. It lowers your lipids, it, it lowers your inflammation. Uh, and when I do come off of it, I tend to eat a really healthy diet for a month or two thereafter. Try fasting. The current recommendations are, you can easily do a 72 hour fast every month uh, and should. But for some of you that are diabetic and elsewhere, it'd be really hard, so be careful. Make sure you only do it with really good monitoring and your doctor watching you. But for everyone else, 72-hour fast will not hurt you. Lots of people have done 40 days and 40 night fasts. I know, 21 day fasts are not uncommon either. They've fasted people up to a year and or longer, really obese people, and they found they lose on average three quarters of a pound a day. So you just gotta drink lots of fluids, make sure your electrolytes are good, take your vitamins if you're taking them, Don't and your medicine, everything else, don't stop doing any of that. But a good long fast is great for you. It makes things really much better and puts life into perspective. We don't really need that much food to survive. This is Dr. Dan Purser. God bless and go in good health. So there's several ways to get plaque regression. Oh, and by the way, having really high glutathione levels, uh, reduced glutathione levels, uh, makes it almost impossible for you to make cholesterol into plaque. You don't have any inflammatory molecules in these about so it'd be really difficult. Okay, that aside, there are several things